All right, Jeff RV Diagnostics. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> I just did that. Um, this is video two of me taking out a Xantrex 458 modified sine wave, which is not good for refrigerator motors. Anything that has a compressor, electrical, inductive motor, AC. Um, even hair dryers won't last as long, but you'd have to use that for a while. Here we go, we had to do some modifications. One, the base of this was a little wider. This is the uh, Magnum Energy Pure Sine Wave. It is lithium capable, so it's the newest one. All right, and we'll go over these wire colors soon, but basically the base had to be modified, okay? I had to bring it over like an inch. And then I screwed it down with the two 3-8 screws here, self-tapping. On that side, there's your positive. Here's your AC in. I already got it in there. Now, I'm going to show you this uh, paper I printed out. Hold on. There we go. Ugh. Sorry about that. So, black AC hot in, white AC neutral, and green AC ground. So, what you do is you take those wire colors they just told you, white by itself black by itself and then ground okay we got to cut that off so that goes into your ACN from your shore power or generator or if you want to call it pedestal power okay and it is a orange sheath all right a tan sheath is 15 orange is 30 and yellow is 20 so you usually see yellow on your air conditioners all right see here's yellow 30 in two 20s out all right you have to mark it because you have one that comes out that goes to your box and the other two goes to some outlets headroom and all that when you're on burger mode and microwave and stuff like that all right so, we're going to do these wire colors. All right, basically, you've got AC1. I've got it marked right there. Didn't, all right. So, one would be blue AC hot out one. Orange AC hot out two. That would go to that line. All right. And then the neutrals get tied together. And, of course, the ground gets all tied together. All right. That's that stage right there. All right, so when you take your 120 wires out, make sure everything is disconnected. I didn't say that in the other video. Make sure the generator, automatic generator system can't turn on. Make sure the 120 is disconnected. Make sure you don't have a dog bone set up where it's hooked to 110. No 110 at all coming into this thing. So you take your AC line in, out, and you take your, you know, have one AC out, one AC or two AC out. All right, this one happens to have two. And the book has different configurations for you to figure it out. All right, hold on, put you on pause, I'm laying down. There we are, we're back. Remember, AC in on this one, AC out. It's relatively easy. AC in, AC output. Remember, some of them you tie together on the outputs. This one's a little bit separate. Alright, so I'm going to tie these wires together. They didn't send a darn block with it. I usually have a block. In a box, everything. I guess they're getting cheaper. I guess you got to ask them for the block before it used to come. And, uh, the Xantrex never did have a block in them. You can put them in there if you want. But, okay, I'm going to wire them up. AC in, two AC outs, and I'll show you the results of that. Basically, it's just wire nuts stranded wire on a solid wire and we go from there all right second video thank you this is jeff from rv diagnostics we're putting in a pure sine wave model 2000 right it's 2015 or 15b no 2020 b i'm sorry 20 amp all right thank you very much jeff from rv diagnostics